the so the premise is um, that I'm not my my focus my area of research is not cybersecurity in specific. So my answer will be um, on the surface level. But my understanding of this is that um, there are no established protocols uh, for uh, managing the security and the transferring of information, and each company is creating its own small ecosystem to go with it and that has huge vulnerability problems um, and that's as far as the vulnerability is concerned I mean uh, that's that's a problem that practically unsolvable because even uh, open SSL which is managed the openly managed uh, protocol uh, they found exploits and, and, and problems with, with that recently but that always happens the, the, the point is that open SSL as soon as we found a bug we were able to fix it quickly and then in a short amount of time, just a few weeks, most websites have fixed the problem or they have updated or Git even. Uh, in two weeks, uh, most of the Git repositories uh, fixed the problem and it only affected small portions of... But as we see with private systems that are not free software, where the code is not distributed and managed by the community, um, we see that those exploits and the Vault 7 and the Snowden revelations have shown have been kept there for years to the completely oblivious population, uh, even of developers or companies that were using those systems. Um, and this creates a huge problem. So clearly the use of free software and the established, agreed upon standards reduces the magnitude of the problem, which cannot be solved in its entirety ever, but it greatly reduces the, the magnitude and it makes it much more uh, prompt and quick the response in fixing those issues. That's on the technical side. Then there's the whole political side, which is why uh, should you build systems that do X, Y, and Z and what should those systems do and then how you use the data and so on. And that's, that's a much bigger discussion. But on the purely technical side, I think, um, I think there should be, again, and this comes from political will, uh, publicly funded software should be free software, um, simply because it comes from the public, so it's in the interest of the public. And uh, governments that fund research, that, that research that's funded should be uh, free software. And that's what Richard Stallman has been saying for 25 years, 30 years. And I think uh, we should take that advice ever more seriously now that it's becoming essentially the way that we govern our lives. So I think clearly blockchain as a technology um, has the ability to provide a lot of services that now are very difficult to provide or in some cases might be even impossible. Um, again, it's not a system that's fail-proof, but it's a system that's good enough um, based on well different things, some as proof of work or proof of stake. Uh, but um, uh, There is an interesting project I've been following. It's called IOTA, which is a blockchain for Internet of Things. And it's based upon the idea that you actually need to flood the system with billions and billions and billions of transactions because that's what the internet of the future will be like uh, simultaneously, even trillions of transactions per minute. Uh, and now the Bitcoin network can only handle so many, like 10,000 per, I don't know, second or minute or whatever, but very, very small number. Um, and IOTA is not the only project, there are many other projects. I think right now it's such an early stage of development of the of the infrastructure that uh, it's very unclear who will come out as a winner but i think that blockchain has the potential to be very disruptive um smart network smart systems smart contracts uh, uh distributed autonomous uh, agents uh, um these are all things that i've been looking into ethereum and and its whole system of dApps. um those are interesting things but uh I mean, the, the first big project that came out of it, the DAO, was not looked at properly and they found an exploit and a bug that somebody you know, drained $150 million uh, a few hours or whatever. And, um, and these things will happen over and over. But over time, I think we'll get a much safer system. They're more tested. And the ecosystem is such an early stage that it's very difficult to say what's going to happen at this point.